Welcome to the light, my brothers and sisters of God. My name is Adolfina Shepherd, and I am the host of our new TV show, God's Way, Yacht to Vey, where you will learn many, many new things never seen before, where you will see things you've never seen before. And I'm here with my co-host, Thomas Knight Templar. How are you? Uh, yes, I'd like to welcome you to the show and uh, our studio audience and uh, introduce you to our guest today. Hello. Uh, this is Melanie uh, Palubicki, and uh, she is a, uh, a uh, she channels Michael uh, the Archangel in her, her practice, and she'll tell us a little bit about that. Introduce yourself, okay. Hello. I'm Melanie, and I'm an energy healer, and I work with uh, Archangel Michael, uh, clearing energy, uh, and I also uh, get guidance on using crystals and stones during these healings. Okay, well, I've invited Melanie to be here today because Melanie is going to assist us in another energy experimental exercise. And I encourage everyone to participate in this uh, because you're going to be learning great new things. So uh, that'll be later on in the show. In the meantime, let me tell you, we'll be focusing on Christian evolutionary spirituality. And why is that? It is because we're in the time frame now of the golden era where we are going into the thousand years of peace that's been promised to us by God. And along with this thousand years of peace that we're going into, we are also going to become superhumans where we're going to have enhanced abilities. And watching this show will, will guide you and get you ready for all of that. So now there's a couple of reasons I want to explain to you why we're going to be focusing on um, spirituality, Christian spirituality. And that is because, number one, when you just speak about religion, you're only learning about someone else's religious experience. But when you're speaking about spirituality, you're speaking about your own religious experience. And um, that was number one reason. Number two is because, I don't know if you've ever thought about it or not, but you know, we're not spirits having a human experience. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. You sure did. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> we are not humans having a spiritual experiencing. We are spirits having uh, a human, a human experience. experience. And that is because, you know, God is a big spirit. And we are too. And we are just atoms in the body of God, each one of us. So we all have a God particle in us. And uh, so our goal was to bring you into a closer relationship with God. Now, I don't mean just praying. I mean so you can hear God. You can walk with God. And I have a little story to tell you about when I first started my walk. Now, here I was, uh, I was just starting to walk with God, and I'm in a doctor's office, a chiropractor. And uh, little did I know that I had an appointment with other people, divine prophetesses. So here I am in the waiting room, and uh, these three women were there, and they're, they're having a conversation, and suddenly out of nowhere, they start talking to me. They included you in. Yeah, they included me in. So now, woman. Yeah, so now um, we're, we're talking about my work, and the woman said, uh, she said, what do you do? I says, well, I'm a healer. And so she says, well, can you heal me? I, I, my heart has been having such problems with it. Uh, I had a terrible relationship, and uh, he broke my heart. And since then, I haven't been able to sing. And she was a songbird. She sang like you can't imagine, so she couldn't sing. So I said, well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on a sabbatical. I said, I, I really can't do anything right now. Because the spirit had said, you know, you only talk to the angels and us two times a week and no healing for a year. And I was like heartbroken because that's yeah. what I did. So uh, anyway, long and the short of it is, is um, so suddenly one of the prophetesses says, the Lord is here. And I says, interesting. And he's telling you to sing to her, to the woman whose heart was broken. Well, you know, she says, I can't sing. I haven't sung in almost a year. So Are they were going to sing? No, this woman, this woman okay. who had her heart broken, she was a songstress. She, was, she sang like a, like a nightingale. And so anyway, so she did proceed to then start to sing to me. And suddenly, oh, it was just so beautiful, I should add. So beautiful. She sang so gorgeous, and it was heartbreaking that she couldn't sing anymore. So, uh, but she started to sing, and um, after she was done singing, 
she starts going, oh my God, my heart, my heart. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I better go call the ambulances, right? I mean, wouldn't you think that? So then she looks up at me and she says, you know, what happened to me just then? She said, you said you couldn't heal, but when I sang to you, my heart was healed. And this is the type of experience that you will have. That was a religious experience. You see, the Lord was there with us. He instructed her to sing to me, and in the process, she became healed. Now, when you start on your walk with God, these are the type of things that happen to you every day. It's synchronistic. Yes, yes, it starts, it's very synchronistic. It's very good I did it. She didn't sing Manolo, because you really would have been crying. <laughs> and those songs kill you, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, so tell me some more about this. Well, we've been having, we're so thrilled, we've been having some wonderful uh, test testimonials come in uh, that I gave to Tommy here. And uh, we're just going to tell you one or two of them because we're just so happy with the reviews we've been getting uh, on our first show. And this is our second show. So uh, please tune in with us every month because you will grow, grow greatly. So he's going to read them to I you. Like a the, bit. I like this one. This one here is from Catherine. And it says, uh, thank you so much for the kudos. This is you answering her uh -huh. back, all right? I appreciate you letting me know that you enjoyed the show. Tommy is my brother in spirit, not by blood. It could be, you never know. Yeah. But, uh, we all know each other from somewhere, all right? I know Tommy's funny. We'll have a good time together. Thank you. See what she said, Dan, here. See the one just oh, highlighted? I didn't see that one. Yeah. Okay. It says, hi, Alafina. I had a chance to watch all of it. You did a fantastic job. I love your brother and all of this. <laughs> See, for Tommy. Thanks for sharing. He's good. <laughs> I'm her brother from another mother. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we have a, another one here. Uh, yes, I watched your TV show, uh, God's Way, Yatave. I love listening to you. Your words, uh, your words you speak touch my heart as if I'm in heaven. That's from Ann Ford. That blew me away, truly. I mean, that touched me so much it almost made me cry. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of hits. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it's, uh, the, the actual page is on Facebook, Under God's Way. Under God's Way. Yeah. And um, we, like I said, we've been getting uh, a lot of hits on the show, so feel free to go on to the, uh, onto okay. the site. And if you want to be studio audience, uh, just let us know. Okay. So um, this is the type of thing you have. Now, uh, the answer, another answer why we're doing what we're doing is lies in Jesus. And that's because... Uh, Jesus came in to show us the path. He came in to show us the path to tread. But people don't know that. He just thinks, they think that he came in just to save us from our sins. No, he came in to show us the path to walk. So now you got to ask yourself, well, what did Jesus do? Right? He healed people. He healed the sick, the lame, the blind, the, the weak. He even healed the dead. And the wicked. <laughs> and the wicked, right? So, you know, we are all to rise up in spirit with that. Now, I do believe we have a little uh, image that's going to come up with that one right there. So let me just go to number two, I believe. So there's many verses uh, in the Bible regarding laying on of the hands, which is what we all do and what Jesus does. So I'm going to read you this psalm. Mark 5, 21, 24. And when Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered round him, and he was beside the sea. Then came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jarius by name, and seeing him, he fell at his feet and besought him, saying, My little daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her that so she may be well and live. And he went with him. You see? This is, this is what Jesus did, all right? And we are all to rise up to do these things, to help ourselves, to help our loved ones, to help our families. This is how we become whole and sealed on a soul level, okay? Try to be a, for a house call up today. Yeah, we, say again? I said try to get a house call up today. Oh, yeah, try to get a house call today. You're right <laughs> <laughs> on you know? that. Now, I do believe um, what I wanted to do also was tell you about what else he did because this has been repeated 76 times in the Bible, 76 times. What did Jesus do 76 times in the Bible? He, he cast people. out spirits. Yeah. He cast out spirits over and over again. How many times does he have to give us repetition to let us know that we are to do this, right? There's nothing else in the Bible, 76 times, right? 79 times. Sometimes it just times. doesn't sink in. People don't understand that that's what he does, and that's what you can do, too. Right. So now, these are all gifts of the Spirit, by the way. Um, I'm going to um, go to uh, illustration three. 
okay? And this is about gifts of the spirits because uh, casting out spirits is a uh, the ability to uh, to distinguish between spirits and you get rid of the bad ones because they hold us down under our thumbs they keep us from growing they keep us from our soul evolution they keep us doing bad things okay so we want to get rid of those that aren't any good now for those of you who don't know here is the psalm that talks about the gifts of the spirit because many people think um, it, laying on the hands might be voodoo or whatever no it's not it's God's work here we go. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were heathen, you were led astray to dumb idols, however you may have been moved. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking by the Spirit of God ever says, Jesus, be cursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are a variety of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are a variety of services, but the same Lord. And there are a variety of working but it is the same God who inspires them all. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom. Two, utterance of knowledge. Three, to faith by the same Spirit. Four, gifts of healing. To another, working of miracles. To another, the gift of prophecy. To another, the ability to distinguish between spirits to another various kinds of tongues, nine to another interpretation of tongues. And the, all of these are inspired by one and the same spirit who apportions them to each individual as he wills. So you see, when you're casting out the spirit, you have the discernment to know bad spirits from good spirits. So that is one of the things we're gonna be doing later on in the show. We're going to actually say, a, give a prayer petition to God to cast out any bad spirits or energies not for your highest good. So uh, I do believe, too, we have an image on that. I just want to take a peek. Do we have the, um, the casting out of the uh, spirit prayer here? Well, we'll do that a little later, okay, because it's a little buried right now. Um, but now I want to go to image seven. Now, in image seven that you're going to see in a minute, it's by Thessalonians 4, 4. And it plainly says, each of you shall know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor. Okay? So this is all key. This is all part of your healing and your soul growth. Okay? So uh, this is where we're going. We're going to teach you how to do your own healing to help and to heal others. Eventually, we're going to help you grow your soul so that you too can um, commune with the, the Godhead, with the Father, Mother, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we will go from there with that. Sanctification is purifying our body and prepare for the energy right. to heal. Right, you have to be clear yourself before you can heal any others. No, yes. And, um, you know, when you start in your walk with God, you want to be able to have these gifts. You want to be able to hear, you want to be able to see. And if the first thing we're going to show you today, though, is where, when we do the energy exercise later, how you too can actually work with your angels, where we're going to teach you to feel what the angels put up for you. Mm -hmm. You see? And then you're going to be able to go from there. Here we are now. Mm -hmm. Melanie, let me ask you a question. Uh, in your walk with Michael, uh, how did you come upon uh, working with Michael? You know, most people are either Catholic or they're, uh, uh, you know, Protestant or whatever, and they uh, are basically honed into just the the scripture and not really so much in depth into the angels. How did Michael come upon you? When you came upon you? Um, I started doing uh, med meditation practice every day, mm -hmm. and I would get uh, visualizations of uh, Archangel Michael coming to me, and there was uh, synchronicities in my life. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I was, as far as the the religious route, I've done that. Mm -hmm. I've been brought up in a family that was, but I I kind of felt I knew something there was, was more. There's something was there lacking. was more. Yeah. I was being pulled to do something bigger you know, or something that I felt this need to help others in a way, that there's more to that than just yeah. going to church every Sunday. Not that, you know, some people, that's their path, but for me it was pulling me away from that. Yeah. 
So the messages weren't yeah. there anymore for me in that right. in that structure. So I started seeking more knowledge. You know. Well, you know what? You stepped onto your path then. Mm -hmm. as, as Jesus walked, you started to step onto your path, just what we you were talking about. You stepped onto your faith is what mm -hmm. you right. did. You know, your, your, you won't say your faith will be stagnated in organized religion, but uh, it's very difficult to have a real uh, relationship with God when uh, you have a religion that's basically based on what man is telling you and not what God is telling you. God speaks to you. It's in your heart. It's right. in all of us. You're all a piece of God. All right, you're all a piece of God. You're part of the I am presence. So mm -hmm. uh, know that and uh, tell God, you know, that, uh, that you realize this, that you're a piece of God and that you want to walk with him and the angels and uh, you'll be in tune. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I always felt like I was guided. You know, every class, it, you, you know, it. how we met. Yeah. You know, I, it's all part of that divine inspiration. It was synchronistic. Inspiration. You, have you yes. noticed that? I, yes. I mean, you go someplace, you meet people well, out of clear blue. I never met healers before. And it's every even, I go, I meet and it's even like books. If you take a book and you say, okay, spirit, what should I learn today? And I open up that book and it's, it's just beautiful on how it all connects yeah. to that moment. It's, that it's moment funny you said it because when I, when I go to the bookstore, I, I, do, I am an avid reader. When I go to the bookstore, I look at all the books that are in, in, in the field, and I look at them, and, and none of them appeal to me. And all of a sudden, the clear blue sky, there's one. Mm -hmm. The one that seems to stand out. And then I notice the one they want me to get. Mm -hmm. So I get that, and I learn the lesson that's in there for me. Yeah. Now, uh, also, um, we um, want to have up um, the symbol of Yachtuve, please. That should be image four. Okay, now the reason I, I want to tell you about Yatuve because Yatuve is very, very important, and it's important to the world at large because you see Yatuve is the missing twenty-third letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Now it's been taught since the thirteenth century that when the missing letter came back into being, that the world could become whole again, and that's just what's happening now. And um, so this is very synchronistic with 2012, with the golden age of peace and so forth. But Yantave is many things. Um, it is also a symbol that you see there. It is also a numeric value of a thousand. And it is an archangelic number. It's an archangelic number that Archangel Metatron puts up. And he creates the elements for God, for creation itself on behalf yeah. of God. And he, this also is said that Metatron with the, with the Hebrew letters also is the weights and measures of creation. Okay, so this is all coming to being now. I received this about eight years ago. So uh, it is also called the eye of light, by the way, and it is holy, <laughs> okay? So it is the letter of the mothers that has already merged with um, the, the Father, the Godhead of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Because you see, the world has been unbalanced until now. And it's still a little unbalanced. It's been a man's world. It's been a man's world, you see. And b way before when people worshipped the goddess, it was unbalanced because it was for the, the goddess. It was the female. We've never had perfect balance until Yahweh came into being and merged with the letter of the Father. Uh, okay, so this happened eight years ago, and you can see the changes occurring to make the world better it's because it said that all defects can be cured by when this letter came into being. So you see, we're right in the process of that right now. With this particular letter, uh, uh, have you had any uh, people who are, you know, Judaism, uh, maybe uh, try to say that that's not the letter or this is not the time or you know try to no, downplay no, it? No, no, I haven't been co contacted by any of the Hebrew or Jewish faith and maybe because when they look at it they know it's truth, you know, but I'm surprised that I haven't been contacted it, by it's some funny, of them. It's funny, you know, because I, I look at that at that uh, symbol mm -hmm. and for some reason I see the DNA helix in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. The creation yeah. of life. And that's, that's, that's what I'm it. saying, that's why I'm saying that, that yeah. that's legit. Yeah, because I remember I said Metatron controls the creation of, uh, of life here on behalf of God. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you know who Metatron is, but it has been said that Metatron is the voice of God. Okay, I so maybe it could be, I've seen this also said, that when God speaks, sometimes 
uh, it, it can actually fry you. So Metatron speaks on God's behalf. That's what I've heard. And he's like his right-hand man, you might say. You know what I mean? We and the last time he set a bush on fire. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> so. right. Now, Yakuve is also uh, an energy and f modality. It's faith healing at its very best. And we will actually be teaching an episode each time with this so that you can be healed, your family can be healed, your loved ones, and each you can actually watch each episode over and over again to receive these healing energies as we send it out. We'll do it twice today, so stay tuned. Okay, so um, we're going to be working with the grid system today in working with your angels. The last, uh, the first session, we actually did a casting out of the spirits, the clearing of the negative energies. Well, every every session that you do always begins with that, always, and don't forget that. And then we'll move on to the grid work. Okay. So I want to show you something else too. Um, is there the image of the butterfly? I don't remember the number on that. Yes, I, I want you to see that I also wore my butterfly today because I wanted you to kind of see and cue it in. But uh, basically, we're going to go through this. But the butterfly is symbolic because it goes like this. And this is how our spiritual body actually flows, just like that. And that's how it came to be that when you're transformed, from the cocoon into the metamorphosis, you're now the butterfly. That's why it's always been associated with, with Christianity mm -hmm. and other religions as well. You release yourself from the chrysalis. Yeah, see, there's mm -hmm. the, there is the butterfly. Now, I'm going to uh, pull that up here so I can go into it, because you can see when you you're in the... the monarchs. Huh? The monarchs yeah, they're work. beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. The, um, see, when we're in the cocoon, we're really stuck on stupid. You know, I mean, we have no <laughs> idea who we are. We are, we're stuck on stupid, you know? We're totally blinded. We don't even know who we are at that point. So we're still asleep, you see? And you can see as we move along to the right that we're still cocooned, but we're morphing, you see? And the third one in to the right is growing and expanding, so you're starting to awaken. And now the next one to the right is you're almost full grown. So you're awakening here. You're awakening. And now finally you're transformed through the metamorphosis. That's where we're going. Okay? We're going to take you from the cocoon to the metamorphosis of the butterfly. And we'll do this over the series of the monthly show. So um, that was part of it. Now from there, if we can go on to, um, let's see, an image six I think it is, the um, chart of the... Uh, the spiritual body, it will have five sequences of the human where we start out where we're the cocoon. Um, that this is our metamorphosis. Yeah, this is our metamorphosis of a human, so you can see this a little bit better. See, the image on the left is the normal human, but who hasn't really started on his path, hasn't risen up and started walking on the way. You know, so, but everybody has seeds of the Trinity, the Holy Trinity in their body, everybody. So it's a question of, again, what wolf do you feed? Do you feed the bad wolf or do you feed the good wolf, right? So, <clears throat> so as we step on our path and we rise up and we learn to start doing some, some healing, casting out of the spirits, we start to grow and expand the body, the spiritual body. The second one, you can see how it's starting to grow. Now... We are expanding the seeds, the third one in. You can see it's growing. As you're on your path, it's growing and growing. You're progressing, and then you go to the final two stages when you are yeah. enlightened and you become a healer. Right. When you when you get to the to the one next one to the last, at that point you're a healer. Okay? You're growing your soul's evolution. This is how you grow your soul so that you can walk with God because God can't, you know, you, you, you can't hear God when you're at the picture all the way to the left. It's the very rare person. Hey, Jesus, David, it's Blunt heads. It keeps coming into my mind. Blunt heads. Blunt heads, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. just like your eyes are open, but you don't see. Right. It, that's exactly right. And that's what's meant by that. You have ears, but you don't hear. You have eyes, but you don't see. 
But when you, I don't know if uh, if you get all the way to the right on that picture, I'm sure you saw it where you exp you're a human angel at that point. You have completed your metamorphosis at that point. So now you have expanded the seeds of the Holy Trinity, and now you have an expanded presence because of it. You're a human angel. You see, now on the last uh, show, we did an energy exercise to actually show you the spiritual body. And uh, can you bring up that picture, the one uh, with uh, our guest we were doing the energy exercise that might be in the very front, number one? So you can kind of see what we were doing. I know we're skipping around a little bit here, but you have to go with the flow of the spirit, you know? <laughs> There you go. So here we are. This was this was at the last, um, uh, the first episode, and we actually would stand back and walk forward, and and our guest would actually feel for the spiritual body, and it was greatly successful. Everybody could feel it. In fact, I don't think all the years I did that exercise that anybody could not feel it. It looked like a high school reunion. It was so nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Or dancing with the stars yes. moment. <laughs> So, and if I can make a comment, sure. the, the more that you evolve, mm -hmm. the more you can feel. Oh, yes, that's true. Yes. I, I, and I agree with that because you know what, folks, I couldn't feel for a good year um, because I had, I had nerve damage in my hands. So, but I persisted with it and eventually I could feel. So that was very that's good. You know, <coughs> yeah, that's when my hands got repaired. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. This, this is our prophet here, Thomas uh, Knight Templar, and he's just getting messages as we go along. Okay, so um, we're going to continue on to where we're at. We did this one. We did this one. Let's go over a little bit. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, we can, we can do that now if you'd like. Uh, we're going to do a little healing, faith healing for all of you. And so uh, we got a prayer petition here for casting out energies. And we would love if uh, you would all say it. You don't have to say it out loud because Jesus hears you no matter where you are. And um, in the, you know, control booth and everything. And everybody on TV, if, uh, if you would say this along, you will feel so much more at peace and you will, you will just love it. You'll see. Okay, so I'm going to say, you got that prayer up? Okay. We send energy to you, God, in the vibration of unconditional love. And we ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you send your great energy back to facilitate the work we are doing here today. We ask that you send the bubble of the Holy Spirit around our households for permanent protection while clearing out all energies that are not for our highest good from our households, and the bodies of those living in my house. Please name those that you want this healing to go to. And now we're going to move on and name our pets. So now we ask you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, to remove all energies that are not for our highest good from our bodies and our sphere of influence in all worlds, all dimensions, wherever, whatever. We ask that filters be placed in our cords, palms, and feet chakras to prevent any backwash. We further ask that you send the vibration of viral, bacterial, fungal, toxin neutralization to neutralize any illnesses in our body during the clearing vibration for the length of time that is appropriate for each of us. Thy will be done. So we'll just send this energy out to you a little bit. And just take a moment. 